my dear friend, the catamaran, you are wasting yourself on high-speed vessels. You've only just begun to realize your potential. Hello, everybody. And today, we are going to talk about 10 ways to use a catamaran. Number one, crane barges. Crane barges are important because they have to lift heavy weights. But more important, those weights are lifted high above the barge. That means that they have a very high center of gravity. If you've ever looked at stability for ships, you know that high center of gravity is a dangerous thing. And in that case, a catamaran type crane barge gives you a lot of capacity to handle that high center of gravity. Number two, fishing trawlers. You get to your fishing grounds, you lower your net over the side, you drag your net around, catch some fish hopefully. Now comes the trouble spot. You have to either pass that net to a fishing vessel, a fish processing vessel, or you then have to bring that net up onto your deck. Now, here's the catch part. There's a lot of fish in that net, about 10 to 15 tons of fish in that cod end, and that can be dangerous for stability. It's not a huge amount of dead weight, but you look at it from the center of gravity perspective, it's raising that dead weight high above your main deck. That's a high vertical center of gravity, and so catamarans provide a lot of stability capacity. They also will reduce your fuel consumption when you're transiting to the fishing grounds. Number three, heavy lift ships. Here's a great one, the pioneering spirit. Massive lifting capacity. And again, the dead weight is high above the main deck. Now the one downside here for heavy lift ships is that catamarans do have fast roll acceleration. Number four, ferries and cruise ships. These are all about the passengers all about the deck area. And you want to create lots of deck area with minimal structure weight. Catamarans are great for that. Number five, tugs and push boats. You might think that a tug is an odd application for a catamaran, but think about that. What does a tug carry? What is its cargo mission weight? Well, it has an engine, a fuel, and a propeller. Everything else is unnecessary. Everything else reduces performance. We'll, we'll make an exception for the crew. I, I like to have crew on my ships. Catamaran, on the other hand, you just fit all of that into your two hulls, nothing else, reduced fuel consumption, great application. Number six, offshore drill rigs. It is important to have a lot of surface area, a lot of deck area up on the main deck for all of that drilling equipment, your cranes, your derrick, your pumps, your modules, anything else that you will be putting on. It's also great to have low motions and waves. Number seven, river casinos and river cruise ships. Okay, I'm stretching it a little bit on this one. Depending on your draft restrictions in the river, you might still have to go with a monohull. But remember that typically you're not allowed to put passengers below the main deck. So everything in that monohull is either wasted space or machinery space. On the other hand, you still have to go through the river. Now your speed and your fuel consumption is not just how fast the ship is going, it's also fighting the river current. So you would like to minimize that vessel resistance. Number eight, emergency response vessels. In this case, we are all about the resistance. Speed matters. You want very skinny hulls and very fast speeds. Get to the fire quickly. Number nine, Crew supply boats and pilot boats. Again, we're talking very little cargo capacity here. People barely count in terms of weight. But we need to travel fast and we need low fuel consumption. Catamaran is a wonderful thing. Number 10, electric vessels. What? Electric vessels aren't fast vessels. True, but they are low energy consumption, low fuel consumption because those batteries have much less available energy than your typical fuel burning engine. So the rule number one with an electric vessel is reduce that energy consumption. So to review everything, catamarans, they are not just high speed vessels. They come in all shapes and sizes and they come, can be used for three main applications. Stability applications, 
area-driven applications, and speed-driven designs. Keep those in mind the next time you're thinking about a ship, and it's worth taking 10 minutes to ask yourself, is a catamaran right for this application? Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. Hey, did you know that there is a magic button down below? Click the like button or even the subscribe button and I will make more videos for you.